Security on your home Wi-Fi is a very important thing. But what tends to happen, we tend to generally set it up, set up a password and not actually worry about the actual security if our password's been guessed, if it's been shared and that sort of thing. That is why today we're discussing the ways that you can see who's actually on your network and who's connected to your network. How's guys, what's going on? My name is Fishar. Welcome back to Tech Scenes Edit. You better make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on all the awesome content that we put out. So for us, security is actually a big thing, but because of my laziness, I kind of let it slip and there was a sort of breach in security. And that is why I think it's important to make this video. So anyone can actually figure out and see who's on their Wi-Fi and see who's connected and if you actually know the device. So you know, you know what, you need to enhance your security or improve your, your, your security or just, you know, carry on as you are without talking and complicating it more. Let's dive straight into it. So one of the first things we actually need to do is actually make a list of what are the IP addresses that we have available on our router? But IP addresses aren't that important. But the more important thing is the fact that we take down the MAC addresses of our devices and that we add them onto a spreadsheet or even if we write them down in a book or something so that we can cross reference and we know, okay, you know what? I'm not seeing this device or I'm not seeing this device name. Let me look up the MAC address. I can say, oh, okay, maybe it's my phone, maybe it's something else, right? First thing we can do is actually go to our router. And from our router, once we log in, so if we go to status and we scroll far enough down, we will actually see LAN addresses and we can actually see devices listed with specific IP addresses. And this can tell you what is actually going on. And that's it. It's as simple as that. I don't think we need to talk anymore. Let's just go. That's the end of the video. See you guys. I say, hold up. Wait a minute. Something ain't right. Okay, I'm joking. But there is something else that we can do to actually take a deeper dive into seeing that. So now the only problem is, see this is actually telling us IP addresses that the router has given out. But what tends to happen if we do get so-called hacked or breached or if your, your network becomes vulnerable? If someone guesses your password or anything, then it'll work like this. And that's how actually I found out that we were being leached off but other than that if sometimes devices don't show up here and sometimes devices don't get an IP address from the DHCP server they assign themselves static IP addresses so that it's not found in this sort of table and that is where things like software come in so from a software perspective we have two pieces of software that we can use the first piece of software that we can talk about is called Wireless Network Watcher, right? I'm going to put a link to this in the address or in the, it'll, the link is below, right? So the only problem I found, it doesn't pick up all the, IP or, or all the device names. So if we come to our server, we can see the actual device names and whatnot. This thing is only picking up two device names and that's this PC that we're connecting from and all the MAC addresses. So that means you actually have to cross-reference the MAC addresses to a device to figure out what it is. But another piece of software that we could use is called Angry IP Scanner. And I kind of prefer Angry IP Scanner for a few reasons. 
right so the first thing is that you can scan the entire range so if like our network is a 10 0, 0 range so i can scan all the way from 0 up to 255 in sequential order right and if i go start it's going to scan every single ip address it's going to ping it and it's going to come back with an answer if that ip address is active or not so currently we actually just coming out of load shedding so a lot of our core devices are offline we, we haven't brought the server back up or anything but you can see um, it gives you a red dot for devices that are offline and then green for active and blue for kind of dormant devices but it scans the entire range right and it gives you a summary um, total time average time the range how many hosts were scanned how many are alive and how many with open ports but here's the nice thing that i like about this so if you think okay you know what someone's watching and they're figuring out that i'm scanning the range so they're just switching it off or disconnecting or whatever you can come here and you can actually change this from the range to random so you can pick a base IP. So we're gonna say base IP is 10.0.0. Then mask, okay. So mask, you have to understand this is the sort of network that you have and what have you. So this you pick differently. And then when you, you can say how many hosts you want it to scan. And it's gonna scan for 125 hosts, 125 randomly. So once it runs, you can see this now. It's scanning random IP addresses. So it's not in a sequential order so that someone, if they're watching the traffic, they can figure out that each IP address is being pinged in sequential order. So you can just randomly scan the entire network and you'll get an answer. If there's something fishy going on, you'd figure it out as simple as that all right as a bonus tip um if you actually pick up a device that's not supposed to be on your network and you don't know whose device it is what you can do you can go to your router right and you can look for a setting that is called or it, it might be under advanced or it might be under local area you will have a network filter right and as you can see, my network filter is populated with devices that I didn't know. So you can enable this filter and my filter is set to turn on Mac filtering and deny computers listed on this, listed below access to this network. So all these devices, I didn't know who they were. So what I was doing, I just come here, select a device, plop it in and deny the thing access because I didn't know whose device it was. And that's all you need to do. If you are worried that someone's using your data, as soon as you pick up an IP address, and then, hey, if it's if it's a mistake, say, okay, I've done it. You can see there's one unticked here. This is actually our TV, um, because I didn't actually update the uh, MAC address of the TV. So this, uh, it was blacklisted. And then, the, then they're telling me, you know what, the TV is not working. Then I figured, hey, maybe I might have blocked the TV. And I unblocked it, started working. So I know. It's a couple of second process just to take an untick. Or even remove a MAC address. And then, at least you know, you're secure. And you can just keep doing it. But if you're seeing this happening more and more, suggest you change your password or something to your Wi-Fi. So that you know why you so exposed and that brings us to the end guys so it is important i'll i'll stress this yet again security on a home network although you may have a small network you might not have anything sitting on it but the fact that you have a network and that you have devices connecting to your network security is a very very important thing even if it is your own devices you need to make sure that your Wi-Fi is secure. You're not having just random people connecting because you never know what can be planted. 
There could be trackers. It could track your network usage. I mean, if you're paying 500 rand for an internet connection and you just get freeloaders using it, which we kind of experienced, it it makes you think like, what the hell is going on? I'm paying so much and I'm getting such a horrible service, but it's in actual fact that you are being leached. And when you actually want to use your network, the availability of the bandwidth isn't there. So that's why security is a very, very key thing. And it's something everyone should look at always on their home network. But yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope this you I hope you found this video educational and I hope you can take some tips from this video. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Prashan and I'll see you in the next video.